What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ghost Man. How's everybody doing today, guy? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, or whenever you do watch this video. Um, I'm bringing this video to you, man, because this is this was a fantastic race. I had on Grand Prix 07, and um, it was with the uh, the Mazda Miyakas, a one day race, and obviously you can tell it was raining, man, and it was a Nations Cup race. So. That being said, guys, it turned out pretty decent, man. This is one of my best races, man. I I should say online. And um, yeah, guys, check it out. As you guys can tell, man, it is absolutely pouring down, man. Well, not yet, anyways. Well, here we go, guys. It was a fantastic place to sit in. I also took the camera here um, after we get through the first turn, so you guys can get another perspective of um, how it was. Honestly, I was literally pinned to this guy's bumper, man. And I must say though, this is one of my favorite cams in Grand Turismo 7. I, whoa, had a little bit of a slippery, slippery RV there. Um, but yeah, this was one of my uh, favorite cameras um, as far as the replay goes. Like, this is fantastic. I like how it has a bit peripheral of the entire dash. You can see everything from the left to the right, and it's still factored to driver as well. And it does look fantastic, man. I mean, the game just absolutely looks fantastic. Now, the grip for this track is very, very tricky. Like, you really have to have a lot, a lot of control, especially in that fast speaking turn. I just didn't know where to pass this guy. I knew I wanted to, I just didn't know when, where. Well, but I did know I needed to stay with him. I'm surprised the um, it's raining and we're doing the Mazda Miata with the convertible. When the top is down and it's absolutely getting wet, I'm surprised the helmet doesn't have like water droplets on it. Getting very close to mid and to hit them, but the brakes, the Brembo, the Brembo brakes actually held up. <laughs> but the conditions on the track did absolutely change as the race kept going. It was good, it does test your skills, you know, like, randomly. Good job the camera here, guys. But you can tell, man, the three of us was slowly slipping away from the rest of the pack. But nevertheless, man, that was definitely some pressure on the bad guy. Slow and fast on the field, but I still have pace going for the turn, so at least I can stay with him on the exit. Really pushing hard, man. I did eventually pass the guy, but it was it was a definitely, definitely send it type of pass. Like I had to risk it for the biscuits just to make that. Uh, 
Oh, he definitely was putting a lot of pressure. He was definitely got a little spoil there. Right, the exit had turned a little bit faster than he did, but it sells a little bit of real speed. But then it, it does keep you in check as far as don't overdo it on the throttle and maintain a decent, decent control on the uh, on the steering. Especially going in and, and especially exiting. Flip and turn, you can definitely enter with some speed. You want to exit with a lot of speed, but when you try to exit with too much speed, it really sounds absolutely drifting. And there's a lot of conscious steering that has to be involved. And you lose a lot of time on that. You can tell the guy in first place has slowed down a lot. I don't know if he had a little mishap up front on his losing pace, but uh, he had a mishap and then, you know, second and third, uh, which is me, uh, we were absolutely gaining on him. We were gaining on him. But I was trying to still, obviously, I to keep absolutely clean him. I do know I wanted that pass and I wanted that first place. I'm not sure if I'm going to get first place, so I was like, well, I came with a lot of speed here. A lot of speed, but I just didn't know if I should go for it, so I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to send it. I'm definitely going to send it, and then I canceled. And then I canceled. Then I was like, you know what? No, I'm going for it. I'm going for it all the way. All the way. Went for it, secured it. They make no contact. And that was it. Really decent. It is risky to, um, to try to make passes. You just have a, just got to have a lot of confidence in making some absolute bold moves without causing issues to the other driver as well trying to execute the move that you're trying to do. So I was working on this guy now, which is the first place guy. And he was uh, he was definitely a hard one to get. I was just waiting for the right moment to strike. I better look back at the camera. <laughs> it's a little wider than usual. I said it'd be a little more speed over there. Okay. Definitely shot into the inside line. I was trying to keep the pressure on him, but I wanted to pass, but I just didn't know where to pass. I was taunting him, I was pressuring him into uh, making a mistake, but he just wouldn't hold me. And all the while, man, the guy, you can see in the mirror, he was, he was catching back up, he was gaining. Said it was never less than to create that one, man. It was a fantastic race, man. Fantastic race. Well done to that dude, man. Well done to these three dudes, honestly, man. Well done, man. And there you have it, guys, man. The Nations Cup race, guys, man. Got P2 out of that deal, man. Fantastic race from those guys, man. They kept it absolutely clean. More or less. 
All right, guys, man. Definitely. Um, don't forget, guys, to definitely subscribe and um, drop a like, drop a follow, and I will see you all soon. Until then, guys. Be safe. Ciao.